fire sign of Pisces. This is Kim here to do your reading for the next 48 hours. Um, we're going to do tarot today. So using the herb and tarot. And then maybe at the end we'll do some ask the, ask the angel cards. And find out what guardian angel or what archangel is working with you at this moment. Or would be beneficial to you to work with. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and get started calling in your spirit guides, angels, higher self, higher power. Let's get messages for your greater good. What's the issue here? What's the issue here? Okay. Pisces, either this is about, um, usually I see the king of swords as taking control over your life over the power in your life but now i'm seeing this card as that and this is the king of wands so leo aries sagittarius mainly leo actually for king of wands um but building something here and it has to do with building something and it's also taking your power back at the same time if that makes any sense all right let's get the challenge card Seven of Swords energies, it, it, definitely a challenge. This could be about any kind of deception you can think of. Lying, cheating, stealing, maybe even self-deception or self-delusion. Um, yeah, you could be deceiving yourself. It could be something in the environment around you too. That's why we have this powerful uh, energy right here. It's the issue. That's what you need to embrace. What is the root or the heart of the matter? Ace of Cups in reverse, so <sighs> what would be the opposite of loving to you? How would you describe that? And that's how I would describe this word, this uh, card. Ace of Cups in reverse, nothing loving about this situation. There's no, nothing that's standing out as, oh, this is a great opportunity. No, no, it's something that's gone. And it's because of that. Past issues. What's the past issue? Past issue. Page of Pentacles. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn child. Um, it has to do with getting news in that what you're going to be doing or associated with is going to be like very materially rewarding, financially rewarding to you. Let's get you uh, something for your present position. Feeling oppressed. Ten of Wands. Uh, upright means that you're getting very tired, very exhausted. Feeling like something in this matter, you have done all that you could do. And you can't do anymore. You're, you're burned out. And, and you're being held in like a... Um, it feels just, it kind of feels like the Eight of Swords, that stuck feeling. It feels like that. Near future. Near future. King of Pentacles. Either this is about, since it's in reverse, um, either this is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn who might have been really heavily involved in your life that is no longer involved in your life. That could be one thing. Another thing could be really trying to turn this around so that that's your power. So that you're the one that has um, the control over finances, everything like that. And I think it might be the building up of this uh, King of Pentacle energy. You are feeling, yeah, like there's something that will give you your Ten of Cups. It just hasn't, it doesn't, something about this doesn't feel like it has come quite yet. So Ten of Cups reverse. Because the energies show up, does, that means that they will be present. So look good, you know, when you see things like Ace of Cups in reverse. Don't think there's not an opportunity that's loving that will come in. It's just not in this time frame that we're talking about. All right. Uh, what is the external circumstances? Ten of Swords energy to me is actually pretty good. Look, we have 10 10 uh, synchronicity there, and also about uh, 
a new cycle closing of this into a new cycle um this ten of swords is like you've gone through the fight with this person or situation and you feel like you can't get up anymore it's like i've been so betrayed i've been so lied to cheated or stolen from something that felt like such a betrayal that you truly rebirth from this energy you're reborn because it's the only way that you can be after this energy new hopes and fears just try not to carry some of that pain with you hopes and fears into a new experience so we have 10 10 10 here too all right standing up for yourself feeling difficult it's feeling difficult to stand up for yourself knowing that something better is coming in but kind of at the same time fearing change this could be about speaking up about like money that is owed to you or something that is owed to you speaking up about what ships you're wanting to see come in for past work and then change could be fluctuating in money let's look at the outcome here Pisces what's the outcome landing on the seven of wands in the reverse go ahead and start standing up for yourself because i think the moment that you switch this energy around the standing up for yourself and others there's going to be a big celebration 10 10 10 major synchronicities and three three of cups making memories, calling up the friends, going out with people you haven't seen in a long time, celebrating, spreading good news to people around you, maybe in your family or something like that. Let's get some angel answers and let's ask ourselves uh, a few yes or no questions. So let's do the first question. Just go ahead and think of your yes and no question. All right, what do we have for Pisces? Meditation brings answers. So what I say is probably not going to help much. I think it does have to do with your Ten of Cups energy here, though. Meditation brings answers. Sorry about that big truck making noise. Second question, yes or no, please, for Pisces. Get more information get more information one more for Pisces yes or no question <laughs> ask your angels and it's up to you on the bottom ask your angels thought that's what we we're doing but that's just because whatever answer that comes up it, it's not going to resonate with everyone but those will so that's why they came out Okay, Archangel card. What angel is working with you or wants to work with you? Pisces. Archangel jewels. Align with the highest good, basically, and go with the flow. It has to do with this Ace of Cups feeling. I have a feeling. Wanting something new and inspiring and loving to come into your life, Archangel Jewels will help you align with your soul and the highest good so that things proceed a little bit quicker. All right, let's get you some tea leaves. Two tea leaves for Pisces. Tea leaves for Pisces. What do we have? Staff. You will be taken care of in difficult times. Kite, a vacation. Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person that you should not cross. Crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. We're going to end on six, by the way. Love and harmony. Finger, warning you of a problem either now or in the future. And then grapes, time to go out and have fun. Yeah, especially with this abundance card at the end your outcome looks really good guys let's do um let's do one more let's do your oracle cards and now i'm just gonna have to make a mess and put it on the top of these but i think it'll be okay <laughs> so for pisces let's just kind of grab us one of these cards for pisces
What message do you have for Pisces? This is the Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle, by the way. Extremely big cards. Not wanting to pick one, so I will pick one for you. Parting ways and increase. You have successfully manifested something near and dear to your heart and then parting ways. It may be time to move on from this person or this situation. All right, so guys, take it as it resonates to you. And rejoicing, look on the bottom, rejoicing. Nice. Sending you much love and light. Bye-bye.